Hello there. Today I am going to show you how to run Apple's uh, latest operating system Mac OS X Mavericks on a Windows PC. So, uh, to run Mac OS X Mavericks, you will need uh, mainly four things here. Uh, actually, uh, you must have a Intel based PC uh, because if you have a MD PC uh, it will be a bit complicated because uh, only few hardware configurations are allowed to run uh, Mac OS X uh, so uh, it's better to have a Intel based uh, PC and uh, you will need to download the Mac OS X Mavericks image uh, from the internet. I already downloaded my files and I am ready to uh, run my system. And uh, you will also need a virtual machine software like uh, VMware Workstation. Uh, actually, uh, you need VMware Workstation 9.0 or latest version 10.0 uh, no uh, actually I what I have is um, VMA workstation 10.01 uh, but uh, if you have an earlier version like 8.0 or 7.0 you can't run uh, Mac OS X Mavericks image uh, on your VMware workstation because the newer images are not compatible with them uh, so I downloaded my files into my external hard disk here there are several files actually the main files are here and uh, you will also need an uh, some kind of uh, patch for enable VMware workstation to run with Mac OS X because uh, in their website they said that uh, they do not support Apple Mac OS X as a guest operating system for VMware workstation so you must have this patch installed uh, if you have a windows pc you can double click this uh, folder and uh, uh, you must uh, before that you must uh, already install your vmware workstation and then uh, you can uh, right click on this exe file and just click on run as administrator and uh, command prompt will appear and uh, then you can see some files will be replaced and the patch when the patch is successfully installed you can now run the VMware workstation from here I recommend you to uh, right click on the exe file and uh, right click on the shortcut and run as administrator so now we are ready to uh, run our virtual PC uh, also uh, I already uh, added my VMware image into this uh, program you can add your own image uh, by going into file and uh, click o clicking open uh, so when you have already opened your image you can see uh, there are several options there you can edit your settings here uh, 
you can see you can configure the uh, configure your virtual PC settings here actually uh, if you are not familiar with those settings uh, leave with default uh, but you have to uh, choose some option here uh, first go to options tab then uh, select general and uh, y when you uh, run that patch I was mentioned earlier you can uh, see Apple Mac OS X in this menu then you can choose uh, you can click on the drop down list and select Mac OS X 10.9 just ignore that message and click on the OK button so we are ready to uh, run our virtual PC so click on power on this uh, virtual machine we can go full screen uh, now you can see the virtual machine will turn on uh, you can see the apple logo here I recommend you to have a PC with at least uh, 4GB of uh, system RAM because to run Mac OS X Maverick uh, you must at least uh, have uh, 3GB or more RAM but I, I also only have 4GB of RAM But if you have a more space, uh, it is recommended. Okay, things are getting ready. Ah, now you can see the desktop. Beautiful desktop of Mac OS X Maverick. You can see the dock here. all the things are done now and you can run your own Mac applications like you run on a Apple Mac PC you can browse the internet on the fa Safari web browser Internet is very fast. Uh, And you can access all your settings on this site by clicking this icon on the dock and you can also uh, change your screen resolution by clicking on display settings uh, and you can change your desktop background and screen server settings here My virtual PC is a bit slower because my computer is not so good.
there are amazing set of wallpapers are bundled with Mac OS X already. You can change your own. Okay, so now you can uh, do whatever you like with your Mac uh, operating system. So, yeah, I will stop now. But don't forget to subscribe. Okay, thanks.